Hey, what is up everybody? This is pretty cool, right? Screen mirroring your iOS 17 iPhone to your TV completely free. No need to download any third party apps. It's absolutely lag free and you can even play games if you want to. So let me just fire up a game just to show you how it works. And you can see it's absolutely lag free. You can enjoy gaming on your TV and it will work for literally any game you have. So this is just an example. Really awesome, the audio will be coming from your TV. You can even use your camera if you want to. You can take photos, you can view your photos. So let me just open up my photo right there. It's pretty awesome. I mean, it's just so smooth, so simple. Really awesome. So let's just dive right into it. All right, so the first thing you wanna do on your iPhone, any iPhone, by the way, that is running iOS 17, as I said before, if you want to check what iOS version you have, you can go into your settings page and you can go into your about section of your iPhone. In this case, as you can see, I'm running iOS 17, literally iOS 17.0. So if you're running iOS 17, you're good to go, but you can try it on older iOS versions. You can definitely try it, but I would recommend you updating your iPhone to iOS 17 for this to work. All right, so the first thing you want to do on your, by the way, before we jump into the things, I would like to show you that we will be using the screen mirroring feature into your control center. So if you into if you go into the control center, you can see my Roku Express and that's how we're gonna mirror your iPhone to your TV. So it's really simple. The first thing you wanna do, the first thing you wanna do on your iPhone is to go to your settings page. Now inside the settings, what you wanna do is head over to your Wi-Fi settings. Now, in this case, as you can see, I am connected to my home Wi-Fi, but if you don't have home Wi-Fi, if you don't have home, if you don't have home Wi-Fi, don't worry about it. You can always use your mobile hotspot or even your direct Roku Express TV as well. So in this case, that is going to be my Roku Express hotspot direct, and that is my another uh, another phone hotspot, and that is my home Wi-Fi. Now, if you worry if you're worried about the data on your phone, just be careful with the mobile data. It might not be free, so I would recommend you I would recommend you use your home Wi-Fi, or you could just use your direct. Roku Express if you want to, so. All right, so that's pretty much all you have to do. I'm gonna show you each of these options, so don't worry about it. Keep watching the video. Again, if you like the video, keep, if you like the video, leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below if you have any questions. So that's pretty much all you have to do on your iPhone. Just make sure your iPhone is connected to your home Wi-Fi or hotspot or a hotspot from your TV. So in this case, it's connected to my home Wi-Fi. That's pretty much all you have to do on your iPhone. Now let's jump to the TV and let's do this. All right, so this is a Roku Express TV. By the way, if you don't have Roku Express, don't worry about it. Or you could actually get Roku Express from the links in the description box below. You can actually click on the product from my, from this YouTube video. You can actually buy it directly from the video. All right, so the first thing you wanna do on your Roku Express is head over to your settings page. Now inside the settings page, you wanna go to your network settings. Now inside the settings, set, go to your setup connection. Now, if you have never done this before, click on setup connection or if you have done this before you can click on check connection that would automatically connect your tv to the connection that was already uh, enabled in it so in this case i'll just click on setup connection click on wireless and wait for it to scan for network so give a couple seconds depending on how fast or uh, it will take it will take a couple seconds so don't worry it's just looking for the connection so in this case you, you can see you have my home wi-fi that's the first one and the risk of oh is basically my uh, hotspot. So in this case, you can just connect your TV to the hotspot or your home Wi-Fi. I will recommend you use your mobile. I will recommend you use your home Wi-Fi. That is homey, it's free. You don't have to worry about mobile data or credit or anything like that. So in this case, I'll just make sure my Roku Express is connected to my home Wi-Fi into the password. That's pretty much it. By the way, if you wanna, by the way, if you wanna use your mobile hotspot, you have to make sure your iPhone and your TV are on the exact same hotspot. So change the connection settings on your iPhone before you do this. All right, so my iPhone, all right, so my iPhone and my TV are both on the exact same connection. So that's that's all we want. Now what you wanna do is, hold up, now what you wanna do is go, to ba go back to the settings into the Apple AirPlay and HomeKit settings. Now this, these settings, if you don't find this, the if you don't if you don't find the Apple AirPlay or HomeKit it sh it should be automatically enabled depending on your TV model depending on the uh, operating system you have this is not Android this is Roku Express operating system again if you want to buy the Roku Express the links will be in the description box below be sure to check this dongle out really simple really cheap it will give you the option for 
Air airplay if you don't have the airplay don't worry about it usually you don't have to in usually you don't have to manually enable this so in this case i'll just click on apple airplay and and wait for it to load give a couple seconds just a couple seconds and there you go now it's enabled in the background now what you want to do is to is to take out your iphone as you can see right there unlock your iphone and now what you want to do is head over to your control center inside the control center you can find the Inside this control center, you can find the screen mirroring settings right there. So just click on that and you can find the Roku Express. Just click on it and it's really that simple. So just one click and you are mirroring your iPhone to your TV. Now, by the way, I'm going to show you another way you can do this. So let me just disable that. Wait. So let me just disable that. You can see stop. By the way. All right. So you don't have to enable the AirPlay every single time. So just make sure you make sure your TV is connected to the Wi-Fi and you are into your home settings. Now, in this, as you can see, I'm in the home settings. Now, what you want to do is again go to your go to your control center, click on screen mirroring, and just click on your TV, and it should automatically screen mirror for you. It's really simple, really awesome. It is extremely smooth. I mean, you can see there is absolutely no lag at all. You can watch videos if you want to. So you just if you just go to your YouTube, you can type in my name. And you can you can watch my videos if you want to. Tons of great videos, tons of great content. So every time you click on a video, the sound will be coming from your TV. By the way, I'll show you how you can change the sound settings. By the way, by the way, I'll change. By the way, I'll show you how you can change the sound settings. So go to your control center, and as you can see right there, on iOS 17, you can actually see the audio is coming from the Roku Express. You click on that, you can actually change it to your iPhone if you want the audio from your iPhone. Really simple, but neat trick. So in this case, you can do a lot. We can play games if you want to. Uh, let me just play. So in this case, in this case, you can even play games if you want to. So let me just fire up something just to show you how it works. So let me just open up a. Uh, no, I don't want that. I'll click on. Really simple. As you can see, it's running in the background as well. So I'm just gonna just gonna click OK. Click on stage stage four click on start and you can see it's starting so just give it a couple seconds click on ok and you can see how do I skip this <laughs> I don't play these very often but yeah it's really simple I mean you can, you can see the uh, colors are, you can see the game you can you can play the game if you want to you can you can see the game is working absolutely great you can you can shoot, you can play, you can, you can, you can, it's just, it's basically awesome. You can, oh my God, I can't see it. I can't see it from the camera. <laughs> so it's pretty awesome. As, I, as I've said before, you can play games if you want to. There's no lag at all, by the way. There's absolutely no lag. It is completely simple. It's completely lag free and I can enjoy gaming on my TV. Really simple. Again, if you want to use a camera, you can. You can see use a camera if you want to. You can even listen to music if you want to. So let me just go to my songs. And the music, if you play the music, the audio will be coming from the TV, as I said before. If you want to change that, you can click on the TV name and you can click on iPhone. The audio will come from iPhone in this case. So just I've selected my TV, so the audio will be coming from my TV. It's really simple, really awesome. So that's it for the video. As I said, as I said before, if you have any questions, do let me know in the comment section below. I will definitely, definitely get back to you. That's it for me. I'm Amriz and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.